A construction supervisor was working on the 16th floor. He wanted to draw the attention of a worker on the ground floor. He tried shouting, calling out, but because there was so much of ambient noise, the worker on the ground floor could not hear the call coming from the 16th floor. So the construction supervisor thought of a plan. He took out a 100 rupee note and from the 16th floor he threw it down. When that 100 rupee note fell down on the ground, the worker on the ground saw the 100 rupee note, peacefully picked it up, put it in his pocket, continued working, did not even look up to see from where it came. So the supervisor thought, maybe the denomination was small. So he took out a 500 rupee note and threw it down. And when the 500 rupee note fell right next to the construction worker, again he peacefully picked it up, put it in his pocket, continued working as if nothing happened. Now the construction supervisor thought of another trick. He picked up a small piece of stone which was lying on the site on the 16th floor and he threw it from the top. That small piece of stone hit the helmet of the worker and it made a sound. Immediately, the worker looked up and started shouting, Who is the one who dares to hit me like this? And the construction supervisor looked at him and communicated his message. Life is also like that. When we keep getting things by the grace of God, we keep collecting it, amassing it, using it, abusing it. Many times we do not even think of looking up and thanking him once with gratitude. But when there is a problem in life, immediately we become agitated, look up and start complaining, how can you do this to me? And therefore it is described, Tam sukha radhyam rijubhir, ananya sharanain rabhir, kratagya kono seveta, duraradhyam asadubhi. Tam sukharadhyam rijubhir. The Lord says that he can be approached with great simplicity and a heart filled with gratitude. And if one does not have the simplicity and gratitude, it is practically impossible to experience and express one's devotion. Dear friends, let's try to appreciate so many gifts we are receiving, the air to breathe, the water to drink, the succulent vegetables, grains, milk, etc. to eat and drink, all kinds of facilities and faculties with respect to our body, mind, intelligence, senses. But all of these we are receiving and the only thing the Lord expects is we look up once and express our gratitude and say thank you. And in the Vedic paradigm, this expression of thanks is done in various ways and one of the ways in which we express our gratitude and pray to the Lord that we are grateful to you for what you are giving and please engage us thus in your service so that we can express our gratitude in a dynamic way is called the chanting of the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare.